What's going on guys, Dane here and welcome back to a little bit of Fighters of Fate, man. I couldn't be more excited to see this full launch. It full launch today, finally, man. It's been a long time. A long time. I mean, it's been a year since we've touched this game. That being said, my character is still in the game, which I thought was kind of interesting, man. This was an amazing series when we did it. No one was around when we did it. This is one of the oldest series that we did in beta phase. I left it because it was in beta phase. I didn't know if it would ever come out of it. It did, it full launched, and here I am, man, right back at it, going against a Liam G. And I want to show you guys what this game is all about. Now, this is a strategy fighting game. This is a deck building strategy fighting game. Think uh, think a Street Fighter meets Slay the Spire, I guess. Everyone likes to call Slay the Spire likes whenever they see a deck builder. Check me out. This is a combo building fighting game and card game and full RPG with character stats and progression as well. Your stats are coming off of your cards and we will show that in the menu, but each card is also a move, whether it is an attack, whether it is a heal, whether it's a buff, a shield, whether it's a counter, whatever you are using is a move of its own and the combos play out live in front of you in beautiful cinematic ways now we're a little strong right now don't stress it too much man no, don't don't worry about it people are gonna catch up quick not even just catch up there's a lot of people that are probably way ahead of me because i haven't played in a long time man but i ain't worried about being the number one fighters of fate player oh no 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 i'm just worried about having an amazing time grinding up in this game so i'll show you guys one more fight and talk about the rest of the content that's in it because it's not strictly pvp now, the way it plays out, you have two, three, four, and five on the board right now, don't you? We actually have a full combination right in front of us. You need to play them in order for them to be a combo. In order to do so, you need to start with a one, which means you need to discard one card. You then need to play in order of what you got. You need to work towards getting these five piece combos as well because your fifth hit in a combo is an insanely powerful card. Look at the difference in damage right there with a five combo. Anything you don't use, you will save. And right here, we have no fours in our hands. If I don't use it, I save it. And that's where a lot of the strategy is going to end up coming in to play. We're going to hit this man with a Frost Barrage to lower his green stat, his agility. This is going to lower his speed, which means I'm going to be way more likely to go first. It's going to lower his green damage as well. And I am a blue character heavily in stats which means green is going to nuke me down there's counters like that i don't have a two available to me i need to get to one so i'm going to drop this i'm going to drop uh healing rush as well because i'm not going to need it with a perfect barrier on me giving me an insane amount of defense right now and this is where it starts to get strategic we're going to pop our full combo off that we saved up for by looking at a race car just flew behind the the, the building once again man we're going to save up for what we need. We're going to look at what cards are left in the deck, what price they're going to be. And we're going to plan around what to save, what to throw away, what to discard, and how to make this pop off. But it's more so than just in the gameplay itself, which is amazing. The deck building is incredible as well, right? I mean, there's so many ways to do it. Every single card is going to come with stats attached to them as well. This right here is going to give me uh, more of my blues, you know what I'm saying? It's going to give me uh, more green stats. It's going to give me more, uh, well, well, you can see it on the top here. This, all these stats right here, my HP, my strength, my, uh, uh, my physical attack, my uh, magical attack, my whatever the blue stats called, what, and then agility, these are all uh, coming from my deck itself. They're all coming from my cards, and the cards are what you upgrade to upgrade your character. That's just how it works. You you uh, equip these cards like equipment, and they are also moves as well. So you're upgrading them to upgrade your equipment, and you're upgrading them to make them hit harder, to heal more, to do more damage, to give you more defense, to ignore more defense, whatever you got to do. And you put together a deck that's going to give you the best odds of getting combinations off. This is the one that I'm running right now. It is pretty freaking cracked. It's a lot of mix of blue and green a little bit of a red in there for the intimidate they all do different stuff buffs debuffs it's a full fight now on top of that there's full character customization but there's also more content in the game isn't there so we got our character right here uh looking beautiful he looks like a yakuza member to be honest with you and i'm all here for it and the character customization is completely free uh you just get this die to recolor it you get unlocks 24 7 to be able to make your character look like whatever you want 
I've never put a dollar towards character customization itself. Now there's also grinding grounds and these right here are a roguelike style mode where you have to go through these chapters and you have to get as far into them as you possibly can for your daily grind. You go through a deck building roguelike for your daily grind. Here we are. You go node to node to node and you're going to end up in fights as you do. You're going to find items as you do. You're going to unlock the fog of war and find different branching paths and you need to get through it without running out of energy. But you also have a backpack available to you with items in it to restock your energy, to open up the full compass, to really look at what's out here. We can do this right now. We're going to see there's a card available for us here. There's a fight ahead of us. There's a card available. There's a fight ahead of us. There's a card available. And we just kind of move on through here. Are rewards available? Even you can get, uh, you can get essences, essences out here for upgrading your cards. You can get, uh, you know, you can get clothing items from your adventures. But when you leave, you take everything with you. If you die, you lost everything on that run, and you unlock harder runs as you go for your daily grinds, which is very easy to do. You run out of energy, you're done with your daily grinds. But you better, you you better be doing them because oh my god, they're fun. Exclusive tournaments as well is live PvP. So don't even stress, man. You're looking for a little bit of that live live. You got a little bit of that live live. You also got brawling bar, bar which I have no idea what this is. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is, must be live PvP. Oh, that's right. Tournament is literally a bracket system. I forgot about that. Tournaments are bracket system. Think like Dragon Ball Z on like uh, tournaments on like the games. It's just like that. What the heck, man? This, this, is, this is extra, man. You got the card alchemist as well. Where you can enhance your cards, you can turn cards into gold if you want to sell them. And of course, you got the card bazaar if you'd like to do a couple of summons. And uh, I will do a couple of card pulls right now just to show you guys what the animation looks like. We got a vampiric blast at A tier, which is actually an amazing. Ooh, you get everything out of the diamond pulls. I forgot about that. We got a lot of cool stuff in a brand new Soul of Battle Axe for a red weapon upgrade. We got a couple of. What else we got here? The ninja quickness, my man. I don't have that. This brand new. We got the soul of witch staff, which is also amazing. We got da, 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 a couple of, you know, we'll spend diamonds on a couple other things here, but we got some healing rush as well, which is beautiful. You got the style pulls with your die, of course. You can use die to recolor things as well. We got a mega chest, which is kind of cool. And then, you know, if you want the other stuff, you can watch an ad to get the other stuff. I'm not going to because I'm not. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't got the time for that, man. You got your daily pull, 2,000 coins gives you a daily pull. You see what you get. And you got a soul storm of talent, bam, bam, bam. That's what the gotcha looks like. I'm going to spend a couple more on these because they're fun, basically. What do we got, man? Lightning booster and tangle as well. And a little big bang, man. Hold on, hold on. These are all, uh, we should see what some of these moves do. Just to show you guys off. Anyways, man, this one, I'm going to be doing a series on. I'm in love with this game. Oh my God, what is this? What is this? Ice boost, deal extra damage over two rounds. Resist ice, focus up, ra raise your focus over four rounds. Uh, I don't remember what these stats even do anymore, man. This is about to be it. I'm excited for this one, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button, man. Let me know. Uh, give it a try yourself. I'll leave a link down below. All that long sword, my man. It, it is what it is. You know, sometimes them is the breaks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.